It's Maggie, and welcome to Maggie Reads. Today we're reading Small Pig by Arnold Lobel. Ponies, Pet Shop, and Paw Patrol? Sure, but I also love New York City and all things Broadway. Singing? Yep. Stage touring? Maybe we've met. Then there's my dog Rachel and cats Bailey and Monica. But I love school, especially reading, and I'm here to read along with you. Welcome to Maggie Reads. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share. I'm in my big blue comfy chair, and let's dive into Small Pig. The small pig likes to eat. He likes to run around the barnyard, and he likes to sleep. But most of all, the small pig likes to sit down and sink down in good, soft mud. The farmer and his wife love the small pig. We think you are the best pig in the world, they say. One morning, the farmer's wife says, Today I will clean my house. She cleans the upstairs, then she cleans the downstairs. My house is spotless, says the farmer's wife, but the rest of this farm is very dirty. I will get to work and clean it up. The farmer's wife cleans the barn and the stable and the chicken coop. Then she comes to the pig pen. Heavens, cries the farmer's wife, this is the dirtiest spot of all. So she cleans up the pig pen and she washes the pig. That's better, says the farmer's wife. Now everything is neat and shiny. Where's my good soft mud? Asks the small pig. I guess it's gone, says the farmer. I'm sorry. The small pig is more than sorry. He is angry. This place is too neat and shiny for me, he says. And that night, the small pig runs away. Soon he finds a swamp. Ah, cried the small pig. He was good soft mud. The small pig sits down and sinks down into the mud. Lovely, lovely, he says, and then goes to sleep. Ouch, cried the small pig as the dragonfly bumps us to his nose. Oops, said the small pig as a frog jumped onto its head. Yow! cries the small pig as the turtle bites his tail. Move yourself out of here, says the big snake. You're taking up space that belongs to us. So the small pig moves himself out of there in a hurry and runs down the road. Here is a place that is very dirty, says the small pig. There is sure to be some good soft mud nearby. The small pig finds broken bottles and old television sets. He finds kitchen sinks and empty soup cans, but he does not find mud. Cars are fun, says the small pig, but not as much fun as mud. Sofas are soft, says the small pig, but not as soft as mud. Then he sees something that he does not like at all. That is why there is no mud around here cries a small pig and he runs down the road. At the end of the road is a large city. Even the air is dirty here, says the small pig. There is sure to be some good soft mud nearby. Soon the small pig finds what he is looking for. Ah, he says, he says, here is mud. Then he sits down and sinks down into the good soft mud. This mud is strange, says the small pig. It is not very soft at all. In fact, it is getting harder and harder. He tries to get up, but he cannot move. Soon a few people stop and stare at the small pig. More and more people come to see the small pig. Then many, many people come to look because they have never seen a pig stuck in a sidewalk. The farmer and his wife drive by in their car. Look at that big crowd of people, says the farmer. Let's stop and see what's happening. 
All right, says the farmer's wife, but hurry, you must keep looking for a lost pig. The farmer stops the car. What is happening here? Asked the man. Oh, nothing much, says the man. There's just a pig stuck in the sidewalk. Heavens, cries the farmer's wife. That's our pig that's stuck in the sidewalk. Call the police, call the firemen, shouts the farmer. By this time, everyone in the city has come to see the small pig. The policeman hold back the huge crowd. The firemen bring tools to break the sidewalk. Please, says the farmer's wife, be very careful. We think that that pig is the best in the world. The firemen work very carefully and soon the small pig is free. He jumps into the arms of the farmer and his wife. They all drove home together and just as they came to the farm, the sky turns dark and a storm begins. It rains and it rains. The farmer says, look, now there is a brand new mud puddle in the pig pan. The farmer's wife says, and I promise to never clean it up again. So the small pig runs into the pig pan. First he has his supper, then he sits down and sinks down into the good soft mud. The end. I hope you enjoyed me reading Small Pig by Arnold Lobel. Join me next time when I read The Airbook by Dr. Seuss. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share. Click it. It's right there. New videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Maggie Grace TV for fun behind the scenes pictures. Bye for now.